A golf ball initially at rest is struck with an average force of 200 and, uh, 2,200 newtons for 1.13 times 10 to the power of negative 3 seconds. What is the final velocity of the 41 gram ball? Okay, so let's see what we have. We have that initial velocity is at rest. Okay, so initial velocity is zero. We have the force that's acting on it, the average force acting on it is equal to 2,200 newtons. And that force is only applied for 1.13 times 10 to the power of negative 3 seconds. Now, if we just convert that to a normal decimal number, then we have to divide with 10 three times or just move the comma three uh, spaces to the left so we get 0, 0,00113 seconds that's very brief okay and then we have the mass of the ball the mass of the ball is 41 grams however sorry 41 grams however we have to use standard metric units which is kilograms and if we divide with another thousand so that's 0, 0.041 kilograms okay now with that in mind let's see which formula is ideally suited so that we can go and work out the future velocity okay obviously this one means constant velocity in this one no there's no force in that one this one same thing okay here we go here we have the net force so we either need the net force and change in time we have those two so we can use this part we don't have the change the impulse okay so we we're not using that part uh, do we have mass and change in velocity no we don't have change in velocity what we do want is we want future velocity so we have mass we want future velocity, we have mass, we have initial velocity. There we go, that's the formula that we are going to use. That the net force times the change in time is equal to the mass times the future velocity, that's the dude we're going to calculate, minus mass times initial velocity. Okay, so all we need to do is substitute. Okay. Substitute, we get 2,200 newtons is applied for 0, 0,00113 seconds on a mass of 0, 0.041 kilograms okay, reaching a future velocity of what we want to calculate minus 0, 0.041 times the initial velocity which is 0 so all we need to do now is solve for future velocity obviously this side will or that term will simply vanish because we're multiplying with 0 and all I need to do to solve future velocities divide with 0, 0,041 okay that will cancel it on this side and of course what I do on the one side I have to do on the other side 0, 0,041 and that brings me to what okay what is my final answer future velocity is equal to and now I'm going to have to use my calculator so I get 2200 zero, times 0 0.00113 divided by 0 0.041 gives me 60.63 seconds 60,63 not seconds meter per second okay that's my final velocity let's quickly fill that out we know that this was the formula that we used okay we know that our f net force was 2200 our mass was 0 0.041 and um, time was 0 0.00113 uh, initial velocity was 0 okay and that's all we had for this question okay then substituting we got 2200 times 0 0.011 okay uh, 3 sorry is equal to future velocity we're just going to use V but that was first multiplied with 0 0.041 times V preview looks good and our final answer V is equal to and that's what we calculated 60.63 meters per second okay that looks absolutely perfect well done